Well, I've enjoyed this past week here on the uh, cliff path, and I can recommend that uh, you should spend more time here. Not only is it a real um, mental bath, believe me, it can be a spiritual, profound spiritual experience. And it's free, it's here. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly saying to people, make use of the things that God has given to us. Now we've been looking at some things on, on, on in the book of, of, of Genesis, although we did go out of the Genesis into the book of Psalms for a, a day or two. But I think the thing that one experiences out here in a place like this is a sense of connection. Um, a connection with the sea, a connection with the Feinbos here around us, a connection with everything that is around us. When, when my fee died a couple of years ago, I spent many, many an hour just sitting quietly on a bench a little bit further up nearer to, to the town and felt a deep consolation with it, with it all. Uh, and, I, and I remembered why Francis of Assisi used to speak of the, 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 the sun as his brother, brother's son and the moon as his as his sister. And that's not all new agey. It just underlines our connection with the world. Now, you remember in Genesis 2, when God has made the world. It's a bit like an, an empty stage, this incredible beauty around. There was the sea, and there was the land, and there was the Feinbos, and there were the birds of the air, there were the mountains, the moon and the stars and the mountains, everything. But there was something missing. Um, man was missing, human being. So what did God do? Did he go, voila, and man was there? No, I'll tell you what he did. The Genesis tells us he, he, he took some soil, there, soil. And from the soil, he made man. Now that's very, very symbolic language, but I love the thought that you and I come from the earth, from the soil. And one day, when we die, part of us will go to be with God, but that our physical selves will again be dissolved and we will return to the soil. From dust we came, to dust we will return. Yes, God has placed his image upon us and within us. So there is something very distinctive about us. But I, I like to think of us being connected to this world around us, to walk Carl foot and to feel our origins in the earth. But when God had made man, and you can imagine this creation there, he's, he's lifeless. Um, and then we read in Genesis that God breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life, and he began to live. I love that. God breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life, and he began to live. And life, the breath of God within us, the breath of God in you, and and me. Don't take that for granted. Yes, we are spiritual beings. We are spiritual beings. We are, we're also physical beings. We, we are complete entities. We belong both to heaven and to earth. Never forget that. But just remember that connection, that this wonderful world around us with all its beauty is part of a community that you are sharing in. So let's not set ourselves above and apart from creation. Let's feel our earthiness and let us know that God has made us in his own image to love him and to serve him. Let's embrace our humanity in both its profound physical and spiritual senses 
and let us love and serve and enjoy God and this world he has made for us. God be with you. We'll chat again soon.